so we say the total pressure has a rising rising tendency if p2 not is greater than p1 not and and the total pressure falls if p2 not is less than p1 not is it not so maybe if it was something like that hmm? let me draw a quick rough sketch so if it was something like p1 not was here and say p2 not was something here then it would have the third component would have come like that the the first would have gone like that obviously straight line just wait if it would have gone like that and the and the and the first one would have come down like this So it would have gone like that. Fine. <coughs> Obviously, here this would have been P2 naught. Okay. So it would have looked like this. That's what we mean to say. Fine. This is the Raoult's law. So if in a chamber you want a particular amount of pressure, then this is how it will go. Now, when is the when is the <coughs> partial pressure is to due to both of them the same this is where the line intersects now here what happens out of the total pressure more contribution is coming from p1 naught till this point correct and and lesser from this at the point of intersection there you you understand this is at any mole fraction you can compute the contribution due to both hmm? so here it is it, it is the same due to both that means this 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 length is double this length correct that means this height is double this it has to be why because they are both of them are contributing the same amount so this plus this this plus this see it is actually so hmm? as you move ahead you you see for less than for less than the for less than 0 0.5 for less than 0 0.5 who took over the second one why because even if it was lesser it its tendency to evaporate was more so which is more volatile liquid amongst the two can you tell me second more to the vapor pressure so many things and all of them are simple and all of them have to be webbed together okay <clears throat> you can you can draw so many conclusions from from one graph so so if p2 that is that is liquid 2 is more volatile volatile than than 1 and here that is liquid one is more volatile than two was it not as simple as that okay as simple as that <coughs> fine so so let us try to write the conclusions that we draw from this graph we have already discussed them so do I erase this do I raise this so uh, 
fine. So, conclusions from the Raoult's law. We have this equation. We had P total is equal to 1 minus x 2 P 1 naught plus x 2 P 2 naught. Correct. Conclusions from the above equation. Number one, <coughs> the total vapor pressure over the solution the can be related to the mole fraction of any one component. That is true. The total vapor pressure over the solution can be expressed in terms of in terms of the mole fraction of any component the mole fraction of any component. Do you agree with that? Here we have expressed it in terms of mole fraction of the second component. What if I had asked you to express it in terms of the first component? Because see, we had P total is equal to P1 X1 naught plus P2 X2 naught. So, 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 sorry, P1 naught into X1 plus P2 naught into X2. So, so I could have written it as P1 naught into X1 plus plus this. Yeah, this is 1 minus X1 into P2 naught. So, that is what they are trying to say. Fine. What is the second conclusion? That the total vapor pressure over the solution varies linearly with the mole fraction of component 2, also component 1. The, the total vapor pressure, the total vapor pressure, I am writing short forms, pressure over the solution, mole fraction, over the solution varies linearly, linearly with x2. Third. depending on P1 naught and P2 naught, depending on whether P1 naught is less than P2 naught or P1 naught is greater than P2 naught, the graph <coughs> of P total rises or falls down, the graph of P total rises or falls down respectively as x2 increases from 0 to 1. All these we have discussed. Fine. We understand that. And now we come to that that we that we started with. That if y1 and y2, they, they call it y1 and y2. If y1 and y2 are the mole fractions of the components in the vapor phase. Okay. <coughs> so if <coughs> y1 
एंड वाई टू आर मोल फ्रैक्शन ऑफ कॉम्पोनेंट्स इन वेपर फेज देन देन वॉट हैपन्स देन ऑब्वियसली पी वन इज इक्वल टू वाई वन इन टू पी टोटल एंड एंड पी टू इज इक्वल टू वाई टू इन टू पी टोटल दिस इज फ्रॉम वेयर वी हैड स्टार्टेड दैट वी हैड नेम्ड नेम्ड दैट Huh? And this is nothing but Dalton's law of partial pressure. So that should not bother us. That is something that we know. Huh? Fine. 